you were known as a scene stealer. So yeah. I could imagine that, you know, if Bobby get on on the scene, my light might get a little bit like not necessarily dim, but his up's not as bright as his. I don't like, bro, I remember being a kid, bro, on cert on a on a certain set, bro, and the star of this project that I was working on, bro. This nigga got mad at me, bro. And I'm just a seven year old kid just just doing my job, bro. Nigga got mad at me, bro. Grabbed me that up by my collar and was like, "Who the f name is on that sign, my nigga?" Like that's how he, that's how he handled me. Like, who the f name is that right there? What the f do that say? Stop getting in these scenes and hamming it up. Like we just always say, "Stop hamming it up." Stop it, like or like if I would if I would like miss a line because I'm making a facial expression or doing something like John. You know what I mean though? Stop doing all that. Like nigga would get mad at me, bro. But then this same nigga. Turned around when did the interview and acted like it was all good. Like, oh yeah, if he's still in the scene, then that's what it should be. I only want the best. But nigga, that's cap. That ain't the truth. That ain't how you felt for real. Because you took me as a seven-year-old child and made me feel bad for doing my job well. Only thing I was doing was doing what I was learning from you, my nigga. Bobby. That's the okay. cold part. Are we naming names? It's, it, listen, I gave enough context for you to go figure it out. Did that hurt you in that experience? Or did you already kind of know what it was with that? Yeah, nah, that hurt me. That f me up. Excuse, I'm sorry. That messed me up, though, bro, because I said, I'm, I'm seven years old. And this person, everything that I'm doing, I'm doing it because I'm watching you. I'm learning from you. And I think I'm doing something right. And you rain, bro. You on my parade bro like you rained on a seven-year-old kid it's like damn i'm doing something right and i'm doing it right because in my in my head i'm only doing it right because i got you to learn from so for the person that i, that I feel like i'm 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 you know what i mean i'm modeling this for you I'm, I'm 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 learning it i'm becoming a beast because of what i'm learning from you you mad at me for that that's like that'd have been like Mike getting mad at Kobe for being that for getting that good, bro. What the hell? What did you want then? Like what did what 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 did you want? So yeah, hell yeah, that hurt me. That cut me deep to this day. That still bothers me. I'm like, damn, bro, I never understand why. And then you would get in front of these cameras and fake like you was all for that. You know what I'm saying? Like you would fake it like, oh, uh, I was I was for that. I only wanted the best working with me. Like I. Yeah, that's what I wanted. He's supposed to be still in the scene because I only want the best. If you ain't working with me, if you ain't still in the scene, you don't need to be in no scene with me. But my nigga, that wasn't your sentiment. Not when you pulled me at seven years old and kind of scolded me in a sense. Like, and this is like at a time, it's somebody like I said, I look up to you, bro. Like every day I'm 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 seeing you and I'm and I'm like, damn, yeah, I wanna I'm gonna pick that up and add that to my bag and make my own twist. So it's like it's like when your idol become your rival. And it's like, damn, what I do to make you a rifle? <laughs> I'm a kid, bro. That's, like, that's got to be crazy because it's a few layers to that. It's one of, I could only imagine you thought he would be proud of you to be able to push you forward. Yeah, like keep going. And then the other layer, you know, it's unfortunate because I assume this was an adult talking to a seven-year-old yeah. kid. And it's like, and this is a, and I... I have an idea who it is clearly in my mind, but I would imagine this is a black male entertainer. I ain't, who who you think? I think it's Tracy Morgan. <laughs> I mean, that's you said the name on the show. <laughs> now I gotta Google it. I mean, hopefully, if it's not, I would imagine you would clear it up. But that's gotta be messed up. Only I ain't mind. ducking nothing. Yeah, it's Tracy Morgan, nigga. I ain't ducking nothing. That's, that, that's, that's fucked me up. It, it fucked me up as a young boy. So I've always had a certain like, like, I don't even like, like, it's weird, bro. It made me feel a certain type of way about certain niggas. Like, even it made me feel a certain way by even looking up to certain niggas, bro. Like, damn, I can't even look up to a nigga and kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, the niggas get mad at that, I've sense. Like, because he might think you're trying to take off his plate or he feel threatened. Threat yeah, threat. and it's not even that. It's just, nigga, I'm, I'm inspired by what you do. And like I said, I'm a fish out of water. I had no real acting experience. So I'm learning on the fly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, but I ain't got no, I don't got no bad blood. It's no, it's no, 
I don't feel no sense of it, but at that at that age, seven year old Bobby still bothered by me. Because yeah, it's I like, can, damn, bro, like that. I can feel that. You know what I mean? Like the kid in me, the kid in me is still hurt about that. The kid in me, my that still hurts my the kid in me. Like the grown man in me don't give a damn. But the the inner my inner child still feel like damn, like because I still I'm, I want an explanation, like damn, homie, like what's up? Like what was the problem for real, my nigga? Like, and why would you fake it all these years later? Like you was cool with that, nah, nigga. Tell them what it is. Don't get on these on these platforms and cap. Tell them no what it is, nigga. Said. You was under you was under ball hating on me. Yeah. In these rooms with these producers and these network big wigs, you was hating on me, my boy. You was. You know what I'm saying? Even to the point to where, nah, I ain't gonna say that. Okay. No, nigga was hating on me though, bro. I feel like nigga was hating. On me. This is this is great. I appreciate you for um being candid with me about this because was anyone around there to protect you? Kind of like yo, like like yeah. chill out, like Tracy's like well, slow down. Well, in, the, in the moment of the conversation, no, nah, it was just it was just me and him, and uh, he asked my mama for a cigarette, so he threw my mama off. He sent my mama get him a cigarette. She was like, "Mama, Miss Jack, you give me a cigarette." I don't want her to give me a cigarette. So in that quick little one minute sixty seconds. He he he, he kind of laid into me, pause. Like, but yeah, the nigga kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm like, damn, like I said, I never understood it. And like, it took me the longest to even tell my mama because I'm like, what do I even say? Like, the nigga yelled at me for, for being too funny? Like, what? how do I even tell my like, mama? I think he mad at me. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's weird, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't, like I said, I ain't know how to feel. But like, at the moment, I know it hurt my feelings. Yeah, I'm a seven-year-old kid, so I can't even process it. I'm just like, I just got in trouble in a sense, like for doing good. <laughs> like, what the hell? Like, one thing about us, I think it's important that we do try to seek healings because because those little moments though do be coming up in our in our adulthood. You know, yeah. what do you think? What do you think it takes to get the healing in that? Is that like Tracy coming to you saying, "Yo, I apologize for that. I was on one that day, or." When I was going through that, I was stressed out. I was going through so much that I had to release it on something I thought was, you know, someone weaker than me because you were so young. I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, as an like the like, I don't really like I said, the the child in me still feels a way about that. But I'm not no child no more. I'm always gonna have a child, you know, inner child, but I don't operate off of my inner child. You feel me? I operate off of as a grown ass man, that's how I operate. I don't operate off of my inner child or nothing, how something made me feel as a child. If so, nigga, I'll be, you know what I'm saying? You'll be stuck in, in, in your teenage years for the rest of your life trying to mend every time somebody hurts you as a child or somebody did something to hurt your childish feeling. You dig what I'm saying? So it's like, I ain't really, I don't, I don't want no, I don't really care for no apology. I, don't, I mean, I would accept one if that was, if that, but I don't really care for one. I'm more so just want a nigga to know, like, hey, stop all that capping, nigga. Go on and tell them folks you a hater. Don't tell them folks you was you was rooting for me to be as good as I was, nigga. You hated on me, bro, for no reason. When all I was trying to do was, nigga, I was I was making, I felt like I was making you proud. Now you you know where I'm getting this shit from. You know where I'm learning these certain witty and just fail. I swear, if you go back and really watch Tracy Morgan show and just pay attention to bro, everything from my facial expressions, my my delivery. Everything, nigga, Tracy Morgan. Go watch my LA interview that went viral recently. Everything, Tracy Morgan. My whole just wow. demeanor, just how I how I deliver, really? just just bro. If you go and look, and it's so funny, bro. And in the comments, somebody was like, bro, you remind me of a, a young Tracy Morgan. I'm like, bro, I used, around this time, I really was. I, that was one of my idols. 